So now that we've discussed the idea of doing a trinode restructuring with that abstract concept of giving, uh, making our X, Y, and Z turn into an A, B, C, and then giving those things, let's actually apply it to our double rotation of uh, this 6, 7, insert 7 that we've done here. So in that case, as we've just mentioned, I do some kind of mapping. I find out what my Z is, in that case, uh, it, oh, sorry, my A, which happens to be the grandparent. Uh, I find out what my, let me change colors there. I find out what my Z was, which was, or my A was Z. I find out what my B was, which was X, and I find out what my C was, which was Y, my parent. So, once again, what I'm going to do with this information is I'm going to change it so that X, just to bring this up a little bit, X will become the new parent for Z and Y. So, like I said, what we do is we take our structure. I still have my 5 in the same spot. I still have my 2 in the same spot. However, once again, X is going to become the new parent. So, 7 shows up here. Then, I get my Z and my Y to become my children. Once again, we've already mapped it out as A and C are the children of B. A is the left child, right, uh, C is the right child. So in our case, 6 will become the left child of 7, and 8 will become the right child of 7. So once again, we've made our change, we've made our rotation, we're still in that insert 7. We still have not completed this. So the question becomes, what's my BF? What's my bot balance factor? Well, for my 8 and 6, since they're leaf nodes, we know that those are going to be 0, 2, wasn't even touched, so we don't even have to touch it. 7, we see that it's balance factor. It can go uh, down one node on the right, it can go down one node on the left, and it happens to have a balance factor of 0, meaning that even though 5, you know, 5 is technically also being uh, looked at in this situation, uh, it can go, well, since, you know, why not? Since it can go two nodes to the right and one node to the left, it happens to have a uh, balance factor of a 1. So while f this tree is right heavy, it's not terribly impossible. We have not broken the laws uh, of physics just yet, or the laws of our binary search tree, of our AVL tree, and everything is good to go.